Hello and welcome. In this video, we will see how to create Excel file in order to use it as a data source for BI platforms such as Microsoft, Power BI, or um, Tableau. So let's first go into the Excel template customization. And we'll go to We'll go to this template which I created before and let's see what do we have here. For example, in here we have three sheets in this template and in any sheet we have exactly one Excel table. Let's look at the template itself. As we see, we have here three sheets. In each of, uh, of the sheets, we have exactly one table. In here, we have three columns. And what I want to show here is how we give this table a name, which later we will be used in the, in the template itself, in the customization. So let's see in here, this is the customer's table. This one have four fields, and this is the sales table. And the last one contains two fields, and this is the countries table. Let's uh, upload the Excel template itself and bind it into a SAP. Now let's import the template. As we can see here, we have the three sheets. And as we can see here in the table name uh, column, we have the table names. Uh, for example, in here, we can bind it to the, to the SAP structure for each table for the customers. It's this one, sales is VBAC structure or VBAC table, and countries is this table. And for example, we'll watch this one to see how do we set the fields for the template. What do we see here? We have three. We have three fields, uh, customer number, country key, and the customer name and the same in the others. Let's look at the last one, the countries table. In here we have two fields as we saw in the Excel template itself. Uh, it takes a little while to generate uh, this uh, output file. So let's do the selection program which create the output file. We choose here the template code because it takes a while. I I generated this file before, and I have now the output file, which can be used as a data source for the BI platforms or any other platform. Let's see what happened here. As we can see, we have the sheets and we have the field the tables. For example, in here we have, uh, in the customer's table, we have uh, about 10,000 rows, and uh, this, is <coughs> this is the sales data uh, document, the date, and the net value, which uh, will serve us later, and of course, uh, and of course the customer number inside the um, sales uh, data. <coughs> Um, also, also the countries table, and uh, later when we are uploading it into the BI platforms, we can send we can set the uh, the links between the tables. This is done inside, uh, for example, Power BI or Tableau. Uh, this will be shown in another video. So, 
this is how it is done this is how we are generating the Excel file uh, without using any dedicated connector and of course for a platform such as Power BI it's the most native platform to upload the data source via Excel. That's all for today. Thank you very much.